is Damien Evans. Tonight, we raise the alarm of our abiding oxygen shortage in leading health facilities in the country. Health services at Kenya's biggest referral hospital, the Kenyatta National Hospital, are almost grinding to a halt following a, an acute shortage of medical oxygen. In the red zone, the county government of Kiambu has asked all hospitals to scale down and reschedule elective operations. This is likely to pose yet another health nightmare as the nation battles the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. We begin tonight with KTN's Kevin Ogut. The recent move by the Kenyatta National Hospital Management to cancel elective surgeries and have all patients who had been booked for surgeries discharged spells doom for the health sector. The hospital has attributed this to a surge of COVID-19 patients in need of medical oxygen and care. In a memo by the Director of Surgical Services to all heads of departments dated 6th April, elective surgeries remain suspended and only emergencies are to be operated on due to an acute shortage of oxygen occasioned by rising numbers of COVID-19 clients. In yet another memo from the head of the Biomedical Engineering Department to Senior Director Clinical Services, the officer lays bare the dire scarcity of oxygen in the hospital and it recommends for temporary suspension of planned surgeries. All elective awaiting surgery are to be discharged up until the situation normalizes. The staff are to ensure optimal use of oxygen available by turning off any points not in use. In a tweet this evening, Kenya International Hospital said it has received oxygen tanks from BOC Kenya Limited and that these will enable the hospital to attend to emergency surgeries as well as run COVID-19 facilities that cater for patients who require medical oxygen. In Kiambu County, all hospitals are to scale down because the third wave of COVID-19 has placed huge demands on healthcare resources, medical oxygen in this case. These developments are at the backdrop of an increasing demand of oxygen by 1,576 COVID-19 patients admitted in various hospitals in the country. Out of these, 462 are either in ICU or HDU. The country reported a positivity rate of 13.5% and 14 deaths in the last 24 hours. 2,258 people have succumbed to COVID-19 so far. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News. We'll continue to keep an eye on that unfolding story for you. On to an issue that has 